Hello, my name is John Derigi. I'm an application engineer with the Agilent Technical Contact Center, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Agilent Photonic Application Suite. This is a piece of software which is used to integrate a number of instruments to perform a variety of measurements. Included are insertion loss and polarization dependent loss measurements, we have a fast spectra loss application, and we're also able to analyze the data that you're acquiring. The instruments that I have included in part of my setup are a compact tunable laser, an 81960A. It's integrated into an 8163B mainframe. I have an N7786B polarization synthesizer, which is able to very quickly step through all the various states of polarization that are required to do the measurement. And then finally, we have an N7744A multiport power meter. This is able to very quickly measure the power for each of the polarization states. And one of the main benefits of the solution for insertion loss and polarization dependent loss measurements is that it can do all of the required tasks in a single sweep. So during the course of the sweep, the polarization synthesizer quickly rotates the state of polarization while the pol power meter is measuring the power, and then we're able to perform the calculations once the measurements are complete using the Mueller matrix approach. During the course of the video, I'd like to show you how to download the software that's required to run the measurement, how to connect to the instruments that we're using to perform the measurement, how to make a measurement, and then finally how to analyze the data. Agilent offers a utility called the Photonic Application Suite Package Manager, which manages both the download and installation and revision control for all the software that's required to perform the insertion loss and polarization dependent loss measurement. After you've downloaded and installed the Photonic Application Suite Package Manager, this is available from www.agilent.com slash find slash N7700A. You can click on the Pass tab, which is short for Photonic Application Suite, and, recall, and install the required software to do the insertion loss and polarization dependent loss measurement. The required connections for the ILPDL measurement are shown below. Both the polarization synthesizer, the N7786B, and the multiport power meter are connected directly to the control PC. There's a GPAB connection between the N7786 and the tunable laser. Additionally, we have a trigger connection. There's a BNC trigger output on the rear of the tunable laser, which is connected to a BNC trigger input on the N7786B. And there's also a trigger connection between the N7786B and the multiport power meter. This is a special cable that ships as part of the N7786B. All the other connections are optical. We have a connection from the tunable laser output to the input of the polarization synthesizer, and then the output of the synthesizer either goes through the device or is connected directly to the multiport power meter for reference measurement. We can launch the insertion loss and polarization dependent loss application from the launch pad. This is located in the Start, All Programs, Agilent Photonic Application Suite, Launch Pad. From the launch pad, you can see all the applications that are available. The insertion loss and polarization dependent loss application is a license application. From within the launch pad, we're able to redeem a trial license. If you've already purchased the software from Agilent and have an entitlement certificate, we can use the disk serial number located in the launch pad to link the specific PC you're installing the software to the entitlement certificate. So let's go ahead and start the insertion loss and polarization dependent loss application. And then we'll walk through the process of connecting to the instruments. We're able to connect to the instruments using the configuration wizard. This is located in the file pull-down menu and selecting Run Configuration Wizard. The Configuration Wizard finds all the instruments which are currently available to make measurements. It'll search for instruments over USB, GPIB, and LAN. I'm only connected over USB and GPIB, so I'll deselect LAN. It's able to find the synthesizer and the power meter, and then it's asking us if we'd like to directly connect to the tunable laser or connect to the tunable laser through the N778X, and that's a recommended approach, so let's go ahead and use that. It's able to find the tunable laser, and then we're able to start making measurements. During the first part of the video, we walk through connecting the instruments, installing the software, and configuring the instruments to make measurements. In the next video, we'll walk through zeroing the power meters, performing a reference sweep, and then measuring and analyzing data taken on a device.